What's up everyone, it's Ashido, and today we're playing The Painting, another visual novel. And sorry about my voice, I am dealing with some allergies, so hopefully I don't sound too bad. Okay, it's supposed to be kind of like a pretty sad one, is what I, I, I keep seeing. Hopefully I don't cry. A few hours I spent with you are worth a thousand hours I spent without you. A node. I often think about when your mother came back from the hospital holding you in her arms. This day, it's reminds it reminds. Blah, 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 blah. To this day, it remains my biggest shame that I couldn't be by her side when you came into this world. I remember looking at you, thinking, "I won't miss another important day of your life as long as I live." Days after that, I probably promptly quit my job. The work I did there paid well, but the time it stole from me could never justify that. Time. That's the thing, isn't it? We know that our most precious resources, yet we throw it away ha hap haphazardly. Oh my gosh dyslexic cats back in it and if there's no risk of even running away I eventually managed to find new employment with fewer hours spent away from home but it was out of the country so we had to move that's rough Your mother always was a natural born entertainer. Heck, she still is. You used to sing, dance, and do impressions, and you would and you used to point and laugh. That was your way of showing how much you adored something. Two of you kept our spirits high, even when there wasn't much else to do far away from the big city. Obviously, you inherited that fun loving nature from her. Your flair for being dramatic, though, that was all. Maybe the combination of those traits is what led you down the road to acting. I was jealous. I wanted more time with you. At work, I could never stop thinking about what you and your mother might be doing at home. Okay, I was perpetually afraid that I'd miss out on important events. Turns out I was right. Not only did I miss your birth, I missed when you started crawling, I missed your first steps, and I even missed your first word. That's the last, that last one hurt a bit more than the others. Maybe because I'm a word man myself. I just couldn't wait to hear those first syllables pop out of your little, cute little mouth. But I missed it. And I cried when I found out. Your mother told me your first words were, da da. But my tears fell yet again, but for etern entirely different reasons. Heh. Watching you grow older was inspiring. I started writing again after many years of barely holding a pen. Stories about a charming, intelligent, and inquisitive young girl solving mysteries that even the police couldn't figure out. Those stories turned into books which ended up gaining more popularity fast. And as a result, I was able to quit my job and work from home as a full-time author. I wasn't even going to miss... I wasn't ever going to miss anything again. I have you to thank for that. It's, it's, it's rough. Uh, yeah, that's rough. Winner. When you started school, I was worried that you out, that your outspoken personality would get you in trouble. However, things turned out ex the exact opposite. You were effortlessly charming, and both friends and teachers adored you. I wish I could take credit for that, but I was with most of your qualities you had your mother to take. Thank. 
You were only eight when you entered and won that acting contest. I don't think it was, I didn't think it was possible to be that proud. And that's coming from a best-selling author. Just some of that dry humor that always bothered you. Though I liked it. Though I like to think that somewhere deep inside you secretly found it endearing. Turns out the best story I ever got to tell was the one of being your father. But my pride was nothing compared to yours. You held that diploma so high that we almost couldn't see it. You you see your face behind it. I can only imagine how wide that smile must have been. Every day I miss seeing it. Oh, it's... Oh. Oh, I know. I know what's happening here. Love you, Dad. The years flew by and the days eventually came when you decided to set out on your own. Except the prestigious acting school, a new chapter of your life was about to begin. One in which me and your mother were no longer the main supporting cast. I realized that despite my best efforts, there was always going to be things in your life that I'd not be a part of. Your mother took that photo of us. If I knew then that it would be the last one of us together, I would have hugged you even tighter. I would have told you once again how proud you always made me. How much I loved you. I always loved you. Now every day of your life was the best day of mine. I'm sure you brush it aside and tell me that I was just being silly with all my rambling. Just you being you. For you grew up so fast. I just wish that you'd gotten to grow even older. This is hurting me. But the truth is, I couldn't have said anything and it wouldn't have made a difference. The pain, sadness, and longing will still be the same. It still feels like another life getting that phone call. I hadn't heard you heard from you in a long time since you were working on that new movie, and then you were just gone. Doctors said they did everything they could. I want to believe that. I suppose it doesn't matter in the end. Me and your mother are still here, and you're not. Nothing could ever fill the hole that you left behind. You learn to live with it, but it never stops hurting. Today, it's been 10 years. You still live in the same house you grew up in. I'm writing a new book about your mother. New book, and your mother just recently started leading a choir. I guess you could say that we're keeping busy. Despite everything, when I look at this well, I'm grateful. Grateful for the years we had together. Grateful that I got to be your father. I will always love you. Good night. Oh, is that the, is that the whole thing? Oh my gosh. My little Astrid. Is, it, is that all? I think. I oh my gosh. That was. Oh, that was sad. Oh my gosh. That. That was sad. I. I feel I feel for that one. I mean that hit me. Um I don't it's a little breaking the whatever third, fourth wall, whatever it is. Yeah, I actually have a daughter myself and man that just oh that hurt. That hurt thinking about. So yeah, I mean that's just something to, you know cherish cherish everybody, you know, cherish your family, your friends, everyone, because you never know. Some sometimes something could happen. Yeah. Oh, that's rough. That was a sad one. I I want to see more 
hopefully they release like a longer version of this game uh the visual novel that is i maybe like go back in time and you know touch on things here and there or something that would be pretty cool and then you know they could do so much with this one i really liked it but um yeah if you want to play it's the painting it's in steam uh under the visual novels it's uh one of the new ones that are up there so yeah my voice get my voice hey it stay with us it stay with us i'm so proud of my voice um, if you like see me play these visual novels, I do have um a lot more down below. Uh, probably put the I don't know playlist link in there. Put the link to the game here. But yeah, you can go and watch all that. I got a lot more content that's not visual novels. You like stuff like that. But yeah, that's gonna do it for me. Thanks so much for getting to this point. If you did, and yeah, that's gonna be it. Love you all. Peace out, Sashido. Bye bye.